You guys clever at the beach? Yeah. yeah. Let's go for a run, huh? All right, we made it to the other side of Costa Rica. Here we are at the Pacific Ocean, scuba diving tomorrow. Way out yonder. It should be a pretty epic experience here. Starting out our tour of the Nicoya Peninsula in the uh, northwest of Costa Rica. We're gonna try driving down around the coast, do some ocean things. The west coast is the best coast, right, Emily? <laughs> Philly versus Spokane. What do you think, Remy? We're going out to the Islas Catalina. It's pretty funny these ATV tours just come to the same spot that we brought our van. So Brita's in a bit of a standoff. Hey, quieta. So Brita, quieta. No. Well, maybe they're street dogs, but I guess they play the same. She's got her meds. Oh, they're probably good dogs. They got collars. They don't seem very playful, though. I guess some Brito will play with street dogs, she'll play with anybody. She's just a playful pup. Uh-oh. Graham's on the hunt. Don't kill those little cute birds, my buddy. Don't worry, he's a really slow hunter. He perfectly camouflages into that ground though. One already flew away. Graham is unscathed. Oh, sorry, Grammy. Thanks for not killing him though. And he lays there like, I wasn't trying to talk to this bird. <laughs> well, we're heading right to this island. You can see out the window of the van this morning. Past this pup. We were a little worried where we slept. We wouldn't even be able to get out in the morning if it rained, but didn't rain at all last night. Everything's even drier than when we came. We're gonna leave the van here. Got all checked in, wet suited up, and we're headed off. Here's our boat that takes us to our boat. The water diving crew setting up all the goods for us. This is a nice boat. Yeah, this is a super nice boat.
so good staying out of the sun today. Now we get to enjoy it. <laughs> wow, that was a really good scuba dive, huh? Yeah. It feels good to be on a boat too. What'd you see that was like your favorite thing out there? Oh, definitely the sea turtle. And wow. then the, was that a stingray at the bottom? Uh, we gotta ask him what kind of array. Yeah. You guys were all looking at that octopus. There was a trumpet fish that was big. Yeah, it was enormous. I did see With it. With a baby. Back in the van and everything's well, especially the animals. It was super nice in the shade here. It wasn't even hot in the van. We got back and the owners here are letting us fill up our water they let us shower and then we're gonna go off for a lunch at the beach not a moment too soon because we really need a shower yeah and that's true we probably need water <laughs> <laughs> all right time for lunch yes living the life Pretty lucky some retail just sit under the table quietly when we go to restaurants. Super van life moment. We just got the laundry and Emily is changing. <laughs> Clean clothes! Woo! Looking good. Shorts. So we just picked up the laundry. It usually takes about 24 hours. Unfortunately, every single place south of Baja, you can't go and do your laundry at a laundry place. You have to drop it off. Most of the time they're good. Depends on the country because the laundry could be 50 cents a, uh, was it pound in Mexico? Yeah. It was cheap and here they wanted $4. $4. A so, kilo. A kilo, which is a lot. But at least they dried it and they folded it for us. So that's nice. Tamarindo, breaking bread. Of course, I love that you love to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to drive at night really far so we can check out the other part of the peninsula? <laughs> yeah, so we can get there in the morning and then everything will be fun tomorrow. Let's do it. Well, you can't win them all. This road becomes crazy steep. I'm trying to back down. We got a bit on the side here. But uh, it's looking okay. <laughs> How's it looking in the back, Emily? I, I don't know how I should turn around here. Front wheels are still in the hard pack. Why don't you jump in? We'll get out of here. All right, let's go. So we got out of that tight situation. The road is pretty deteriorated. Like, it's a dirt rock road with a lot of rain and water. Well, we do, in fact, still have a mirror. <laughs> By the way, this thing fell off and went all the way. That was a crazy drive. So right over here, there's a beach spot, I guess. Sick. Well, we made it to the beach spot. The crazy moth on the front of the car. I guess Graham's a little curious about it. <laughs> anyway, you can see across the water, there's lights here, garbages, but that would be the port. So brightly lit, it's pretty obvious. That's Calderas, where we spent the very first night in Costa Rica. Now we're way over here. And yeah, a bit of a debacle back there with the road. We are worrying a bit more about the van lately and hearing some weird noises with the brakes, the leaf spring. We know the bushings are going bad, or they're bad already, they say. Kurt's gonna bring some spare parts for us. Whew, but we got up early today to do that scuba dive. Booked it way over here, just so we can wake up and already be in this area and explore it until he gets back with those spare parts. And that's also me and Emily's wedding anniversary. Uh, the day he lands, so we're definitely gonna spend the day together, me and Emily, I mean. <laughs> and then the next day go go meet up with Kurt and Snow. Luckily, they're right on the other side of, of the ferry from over here, 
on the mainland, so then we'll get the van fixed. It's just rough coming to an area like this where you know there's gotta be so many cool secluded beaches, but then to not really wanna do those roads right now is the van. And I just miss when the van was new and you know, I mean, we bought it used, but when it was new to us and we would just mob down some crazy roads. If I got another van, I think I'll be a little gentler to it. But you know what? It's all fine. Another night at the beach with the van. <laughs> We decided to get up and get on the road and head to Montezuma, which is kind of the first trendy beach town along this uh, tip of the Nicoya Peninsula here. Later we'll probably keep going to Santa Teresa, which is around the point. We're really kind of just figuring out what these roads are like. And this road to Montezuma seems fully paved, but in Montezuma, we need to get some water. It's gonna be a good one. For some reason, the drone stuff is in Japanese. Oh boy, I think I can pull it off. <laughs> take off. That means take off. It's just gonna go right to China now. You hear that? And there was some kind oh. of error. I'm not sure what that means. But... Montezuma has a lot, I guess, of free water, which is really great because it would take probably $20 to fill up our tank if you're going to the store and buying those kind of phones. So anyway, we fill this up. And then here, we have this little cover for our water system. We take off the lid. And then I lift this up. And this is basically how we've been filling water uh, the whole time. In the U.S., it's really easy. In the backs of most Walmarts, there's purified water that you can buy. It's usually about $2.50 for five gallons. In Mexico, there's also purificadoras that we could, that we fill up our, our little jerry can here. This is a five-gallon jerry can. But um, whenever you drive up mountains, and you leave your the valves closed, the container actually expands. So I think we think it's about seven gallons now. In Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua, you had to buy garifones. In Costa Rica, they don't really sell garifones because the water here is potable, so not many people buy them, and it makes them more expensive when not many people buy them. The garifone is basically the Cooligan man. Thing. Yeah, lots of purificadores. The people have been super nice. Sometimes we've even gotten water for free, especially in places where it's usual to get a garifón and not a fill, refill our reusable jerry can. And now we're gonna get one more to save in the back. That means that we can carry like 22 gallons of water. It's perfect for us. wanted us to go from Montezuma straight to Santa Teresa on some side roads. I Overlander said it's a very scenic four-wheel drive track. <laughs> but we definitely found the good way down here. Super happy that uh, we can take it a little easy on the van while we're waiting to get those bushings from Kurt. Wow, so we found the spot 
and I guess today is their last day. But right now they're taking everything apart. They recommended another one that way. So they just are closing and he doesn't know what they're going to do next. So I, to I told them, you know, best of luck with whatever you do next and hopefully things work out. But, but this is a beautiful area. We'll find something. Let's just park over there. Uh, let me just go by over there. Not a bad spot here for free. Neighbors said we can use the shower and the toilet for an unspecified fee. Beautiful beach. This is Santa Teresa. Pretty cool plastic collection thing here. Take one of these things, fill it up, bring it back. Part of the change. A lot of fancy little beach spots here. Good work today. Remy, you like the ocean? This is yours. Look. Grim just wants to eat the dog food. Oh, there you go, buddy. That's the right one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time when we explore the rest of the Nicoya Peninsula. See ya!